So how do we expand a binomial to a fourth power? I would not recommend you guys to write this out four times and multiply it out. Use the Pascal's triangle. It will be so much better. Check this out. This is how the Pascal's triangle looks like, right? Pascal's triangle. We start with one, and then you always start with one, right? And then you end with one. Right? Keep that in mind. And then we keep going down. The next row is one, and then right here we do one plus one, which is two, and then we end with one. And then we keep going. Again, start with one, and then we are going to add this and that. That will be three, and then this plus that is going to be three, and then we end with one. Okay? And then again, start with one, and then this plus that is four, and then this plus that is six, and then this plus that is four, and then this right here is one. We are going to use this row, and an easy way to remember it is because we are dealing with the fourth power, you want to see a four right here. And technically, this is the fourth row because the first one right here is the zeroth row, and this is the first row, second row, third row, fourth row, right? Okay, how are we going to use this then? These are the coefficients. I'm just going to write them down for you guys. Here we get, this is one, and leave some gap, right? One, and then we have four, six, four, one. That should be okay. All right, now, here we have the first term being 2x. For this right here, we multiply by 2x and we raise that to the fourth power okay and then for the next term the power will go down by one so i will just put down 2x to the third power and just follow the pattern 2x to the second power and then 2x to the first power and at the end no 2x just this yeah and then here we have the plus one well i'm going to do this it's redundant but i want to show you guys how it works we are going to start right here and we are going to multiply by 1 to the fourth power. Why for this number is you start right here and then you do that number to the fourth power. But it's always 1 anyway. Yeah. And then this is 1 to the third power and then 1 square and then 1 to the first and then 1, no 1, doesn't matter. Yeah. So this right here are the terms. And because we have a sum, we are just going to add up everybody. So that's pretty much the construction of the answer. And now we just have to work them out individually. Here we have 2 to the 4th power is 16 times 1 doesn't matter. And then we have x to the 4th power. That's the first term. Next, 2 to the 3rd power is 8. 8 times 4 is 32 times 1 doesn't matter. So plus 32 x to the 3rd power. Continue. 2 to the 2nd is 4. 4 times 6 is 24. So we add. 24x squared, and then 2 times 4 is 8x to the first power, and lastly, this is just a 1. So that's it. It's pretty effortless, especially if you compare this to if you write down 2x plus 1 4 times and multiply it yeah. This is definitely more concise. Let's try the other one. We still use this row because we have the fourth power. So one, four, six, four, one. Here we go. So let me write down one and then four, six, four, and one. All right? So start with x. Right? This term is just x. Raise that to the fourth power. And then x, third power, x square, x to the first power. And then no x. All right? Okay, and then here we have 3. I'm just going to put it down here. We multiply by 3 to the 4th power, and then 3 to the 3rd power, 3 to the 2nd power, and then 3 to the 1st power, and then this one, no 3. Well, in this case, we have a subtraction. So what do we do with the sign? The easy way to remember it is the alternates. That's all you have to do it. First term is positive. The next term will be minus, and then the next term will be plus, and then minus, plus, yeah, like that, it alternates. The reason is because if you look at negative 3, if you take this as the second term, if you put it in here, raise that to the first power, that's why you have the negative. But if you remember it as it alternates, much better. And at lastly, we just multiply these things out. We will get x to the fourth power, 3 times 4 is 12, and that's a minus 12x to the third power. This is 9 times 6 is 54x squared. 
This is 27 times 4 is 108, and that's a minus. And then we have x to the first power. And lastly, this is 3 to the fourth power is just 81 times 1, doesn't matter, so plus 81. Yep, this is it. This is how you expand a binomial to a bigger power. Use the Pascal's triangle, it's much better.